I make um, bookmarks. So here's one, here's another one. I went to Mexico about two years ago. It was the first time that I visited my grandma. It was the first time that I met her and she was teaching me how to um, weave flowers, which I had never done before. So I was like, I wanna bring it back. So I put it inside a book and I brought it back to LA. And I was like, how do I preserve this? So I put it in like between a piece of tape and then I, I like put it on my Instagram. I told everyone like, oh, I want to keep making these like just to practice. If anybody wants a free one, let me know so I can send it over to you. Um, this is like the final product. This is the flower that my grandma taught me how to weave. But um, it's funny now that I think about it because I was literally like sending people um, flowers in between a piece of tape and everybody was just so supportive. So I pressed the flower and I'm still learning like, I'm like, okay, that, that flower doesn't look like it would be pressed really nice just because it's thick or something like that. But then I have to like sand them and that takes maybe like two hours. So I try to do that during the weekend when I have more time. Then the whole process of like putting it in the laminating sheet and hole punching it, putting the ribbon. Like at first I was like, oh my gosh, grad school is so expensive, you know, and I don't want to keep on taking like a lot of loans. So I was like, if this can help me fund some of my graduate school, then that's great. But at the same time, I was like, oh my gosh, I really love to read. And I was making all these bookmarks. And these are actually like bookmarks that are mine. Like I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I don't even think anybody has seen these bookmarks. Having something that's tangible, but that it has a story behind it. I love that about art. I love knowing the backstory behind pieces of art. Just seeing, um, that I can keep a piece of my memory and make a piece of whoever's memory into a bookmark, I think that's wonderful.